Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. GBFKE sent me three more diamond paintings to review. Now I did open the package because I wasn't sure who these were from. I've been contacted by a number of different companies to review their diamond paintings. And of course on the outside of the package it doesn't list the company. So I just opened the outside of the package seeing that there were three of them in here and I'm like yep these must be from GBFKE they went ahead and so kindly sent me three more diamond paintings to unpackage for you guys so let's take a look okay we'll open this one first let's see let's get the scissors And uh, let's check out what this one is. Ooh, it's a peacock. Okay. This is a 25 by 30, so just a little baby diamond painting. We have our standard toolkit, piece of wax, green tray, your single placer drill pin. And then we have our little diamond painting. Ain't it cute? These are so nice to do when you just want to do something quick and easy. And they're special drills. So we only have eight colors. We do have the uh, color key up here and in the lower right, which is always nice. Now, you know, it might be a little bit of overkill on diamond paintings this small, but when you start getting into your larger size diamond paintings, it's so nice to have the two keys, right? A lot of times for the large ones, especially those from AliExpress, you'll see it up here in the upper right hand corner, and then there's nothing down here. And it's so nice to have them both when you start shifting it up. And you don't necessarily see the one up here anymore. So it is always nice when they do have the two keys. So again, states it's a 25 by 30. That's going to be really pretty when it's done. These roses. Let's look at the pretty drills. These uh, rhinestones always make the uh, diamond painting sparkle so pretty. So this will be a, a fun little easy one to do. And they're just numbered one through eight. So we only have um, a couple of numbers and letters here. So that's going to be nice and easy to do. All right. So let's zoom you in and let's look at the pitties. Ooh, a lot of the little round uh, gold ones. We do have some regular black that are not the rhinestones. Oh, look at these pinks. Aren't they pretty? Beautiful greens. Of course, you got to have greens in a peacock. And we have some real, like, dark orange kind of on the brown side. Oh, look at the gold. Very pretty. And then, of course, we got the sparkly silver. Oh, that is going to be pretty. For a diamond painting this size, I can't believe there's that many rhinestones. And then we have the larger blue ones. And they're going to be pretty. Yeah, it doesn't look like there should be that many drills on this diamond painting. But there are quite a few drills to be done in his tail. So that is going to be gorgeous. This is, of course, only a partial, which I never used to like partials. Um, but I'm coming to like them a little bit more <laughs> because the background is done for you. And there's a lot more detail, of course, rather than a smaller picture like this, you doing the background. 
you would lose so much of that detail. So if you do want to do one of these small ones, it either has to be a very simplistic type of diamond painting where it's like one main object, nothing that has a lot of detail to it, or it has to be a partial where the background is done for you. I mean, it doesn't have to, but it just, it looks that much better when it's done that way. So very, very pretty. Okay, so that is the first one that they sent me. And I am just going to not take up your time to repackage these on camera. I will do that off camera. Oh, don't forget my pretty blue ones. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this one. Let's see which, which end. This one feels a little bit bigger, and I want to make sure I'm not going to cut into the diamond painting. Let's see. Did I open it enough? There we go. I suppose if I would have cut into the canvas just a little bit, it's, you know, the very end, it wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world, but you certainly don't want to do it on purpose. All right, so, yeah, this one feels a little bit bigger. We zoomed out all the way. There we go. Oh, I like the colors already. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, there are eight colors in here. Look at all the pinks and reds. Oh my goodness, this thing goes on forever. Holy cow. I don't see a size on here though. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's all rhinestones. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing, guys. Wow. So it goes from here all the way. Look at these beautiful roses. Oh my gosh. I love it. And now yeah, there's no size. Hmm, I would say it must be like a 30 by, oh my goodness, I don't know, 30 by 80 maybe, 70, something like that. Hmm, love it, love it. Now on the first one I didn't look at the, to see how, you know, clear the, the symbols were. Let's take a look at this one. Oh yeah, even though these are all red, and I don't know if that's showing up. I apologize for the glare. I'm right next to a window now in my new office, so. Um, but yeah, very, very clear. Even though like the fives and sixes are right next to each other, and the colors are probably real similar, you can very easily distinguish between the fours, fives, sixes, sevens, even the ones and the twos. Yeah, perfectly clear. Again, as you can see, this is a partial. Nice and sticky. And again, because the background is kind of detailed, um, it's nice to have the leaves themselves uh, not diamond painted, that it, it's pre-printed on here. That is gonna be gorgeous. Hmm. Oh, that is so, so pretty. Let's take a look at the beautiful rhinestones. Again, we get our standard toolkit. Oh my gosh, I can see them already. Oh. <laughs> and yes, I'm like everybody else. I'm like, oh, I want to do that peacock next. No, I want to do this one next. <laughs> Like, oh, I want to do that one, I want to do that. And I have not had a chance at all with moving in anything. I haven't been able to diamond paint in a coon's age. <laughs> oh my gosh, these packets are full. Oh, wow. And like I said, there are only eight colors. And now with a diamond painting this long, it is very important that you have a color key here and 
a color key way over here. <laughs> As you shift your diamond painting over, it, it'll be nice to have this one on this end too. Oh, I love all the tones in this. Oh, okay. So let's zoom in again. Let's look at these pretty drills. Oh, like I said, these packages are just packed full. Look at all of these golds. And I bet you these are all, yeah, these first two are number ones. Here's number two, which is a deeper gold. Kind of an orangey color, I should say. Oh, look at that gorgeous color. Oh, it's kind of like a, hmm. Well, you can kind of maybe see it on camera, huh? Like a, a deep burgundy color. And I bet you that's the shading in the roses, right? Ooh, pretty, pretty. Pinkish red. That's got to be going in the later roses, I bet. And that beautiful red. These must be the same number. Yes, number five. And this looks a little bit different. Yeah, number six. Just a shade darker. And then the super deep red. Oh my gosh. The shading on these flowers is going to be gorgeous. And our silver. Oh my gosh. Gosh, that is stunning. Oh, isn't that going to look pretty done? Oh, my, my. <laughs> I love it. Oh, told you it felt like it was a bigger one. <laughs> Zoom back out so I don't get you sick here. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of fold it back up this way. And again, I'll, I'll repackage it up off camera. Put the drills back in here. And let's see, last but not least, and again, this one feels a little bit bigger than that first one. And I do apologize to GBFKE for the delay in this video. They have been patiently waiting. <laughs> for this unbagging and yeah you know I explained to them with the the moving and everything that uh you know I'm kind of getting behind on videos and and they've been very very patient with me so I appreciate that okay Ooh, I like the colors so far six or 15 colors in here oh it's another partial oh my gosh Oh, look at these colors. Oh, pretty. Now, a lot of it is pre-printed. All of this on the bottom is not drilled. It looks like, so you do get the standard kit again. It looks like the only thing that is drilled on here are the trees. So we have the trees. We have the bridge. We have this little house, and that's about it because these trees are pre-printed also. Matter of fact, there's not any covering even down here because there is no drilling area down here. So it only covers it up on the top. So, oh, that is so cute. Look at the colors in these trees. Wow gorgeous and again there's no size on here hmm but they do have again their color key in the upper left oh i take that back there isn't one in the lower right like there normally is that's unfortunate because it is kind of a, a wider diamond painting that it would have been nice to have it down here but uh I guess it's, you know, it's not that r real big of a deal, I guess, um, depending on how you do this. If you do it out on your desk, you would still be able to see it easily. If you do it 
in your chair like I do a lot of mine um, and this is folded up or bent around or something then you know but you could jot them down too plus the fact let's look at that key they are numbered one through nine so if you see like a one, you know it's coming from the one packet. And then 10 through 15 are just A, C, D, E, F, H. So it wouldn't be that hard to, you know, figure out. And when you kit this up, you know, you just kit it up with, you know, H or F or whatever. So, you know, not having the palette over here wouldn't be that big of a deal, depending how you kit this up, so... Let's take a look at the pretty drills. I see lots of pretty pinks. And these are packaged in my favorite packaging because they have the nice silver label here. You can very easily read. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can read on these packets. Those that don't have this silver, you may have seen some unpackaging where it's really hard to read what like the DMC code is or you know things like that. So when they have the silver on, that's nice. All right, let's look at the colors. So we are starting with number one. So black. Now they're Yep, 310. There are DMC codes on here. I don't believe there were on the other ones. Um, but here we have a real deep, like, pinky salmon, kind of. Pretty gold. Oh, I like this light yellow, too. Oh, look at that color. Oh, these pinks are gorgeous. We have some hitchhikers in each of these. <laughs> and of course we have to have some pretty greens <gasps> look at these colors oh my gosh you knew I'd like them right we have a dark brown oh and look at these Ooh -wee. again the shading on here is going to be just gorgeous so there's like five different shades in these trees with the pinks and the purples and then an off-white. Oh, that is gorgeous. I just love these two. Of course I would. Oh my gosh. I love all three of them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful diamond paintings. Um, let's take a look and see how clear... These are the the, the uh, codes, the, 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 yeah, <laughs> the letters, very easily read, even like between the one, let's get so it's not shining here, the one and the C, I don't know if it's showing up good on camera or not, you can kind of see it, but, uh, you know, even though they're both dark because we have the dark brown and the black right next to it. Yeah, very easy to distinguish. That's not going to be a problem at all. Even if you don't use a light pad, you would have no problem doing this. Depending on your other lighting, of course. <laughs> very nice. Thank you again to GBFKE for sending me these. They are beautiful. All right, so we have this wide, beautiful diamond painting. Then we first had that peacock, the little bitty baby one, and then we had our big, beautiful roses. How gorgeous. Oh, all right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the unbagging of these beautiful diamond paintings. 
If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I will be leaving a link down below in the description to GBFKE's website if you would like to check out their diamond paintings yourself. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and is always happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye everybody.